Hello crew, welcome back to the Gaming Ocean TCG channel. Hope everyone's doing well. And in this video, we're unboxing Digimon's newest advanced deck set, Double Typhoon, Starter Deck 17. This is the second advanced deck set released for the Digimon card game. First one being Beelzemon, which was a solid starter deck. Maybe start liking purple and now my favorite color. The advanced deck set comes with a complete deck along with 60 card sleeves and 10 bonus reprint cards. I really like these advanced deck sets because they're almost tournament ready. You have everything you need in one starter deck. Of course, you can always pick up a second copy to complete your set and put them together to get a more complete deck. As you can see here, we have Terriermon and Lotmon as the covered Digimon, along with an Ace Mega Gargomon. So it looks like we'll be seeing a green deck this time around. It's cool to see Lotmon and Terriermon back in action. We did get these two back in EX4 with a new alliance mechanic. Now we're going to see what these two have in store for us with this new advanced deck set. And before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button so you're up to date with the latest videos for more TCG content. So now with further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Double Typhoon Starter Deck 17. And let's see what they got going on with this starter deck here. I'm actually really excited for this starter deck, actually. The Alliance mechanic was fun with these back in EX4, so I'm excited to see what they have cooking for this starter deck here and let's check out these 10 bonus cards and can't wait to check out the sleeves too actually see what they look like all right here we go that's everything in the box we'll put it right here you all can see that so oh here are the card sleeves not gonna lie these are adorable these are cute i like them that is adorable you got Lamon and terrymon on both ends that's so cool I like the card sleeves. Fantastic. All right. So here is the. Oh, oh, okay. Here is the deck and the bonus card. So I'm gonna put those to the side for now. And oh, look at that! One seeker pack, six type in total. So you can get one out of six cards. Does it tell you what you can get? No. That's cool. We'll check that out at the end. And of course, a playmat. Oh, let's check out this playmat. Is this Rapidmon? It is. Oh, it's Golden Rapidmon. Oh, it's double sided. Oh, okay, okay. Got Lotmon, Terrymon. It's cool. Oh, look, everything's written. Battle area, deck, trash. Oh, it tells you the game flow down here in the corner. Security stack, breeding area. Check out the back of it. And Golden Rapidmon. This is a cool map, I'm not gonna lie. Someone can make this a. Uh, Playable, you know, rubber mat. Do so, please. This is a cool paper mat. Okay, I'm going to put that side here. And let's get to the bonus cards first, actually. Let's check these out. Oh, they wrapped them up in this uh, plastic this time around. Last time I just slid them off, but... Go ahead and... There it is. Nice and easy. Okay, what are our 10 bonus cards? Upside down. Let's check it out. Kokomon from EX4. Amazing full art and foil. Nice. Digi Egg. Lotmon from EX4. Look at this artwork. It is fantastic. All right, Rapidmon from BTA. And this artwork. Amazing. These artworks have been fantastic. Wow. Magnamon. Ooh. Very cool. This is ST17. Is this a new Magnamon? It is. It's black, blue. Hold up. Security effect. The Digivolve one Digimon at the end of the battle. One of your Digimon will Digivolve into this card without paying the Digivolution cost. It's a blocker and has armor purge. When Digivolving, trash the top Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. For each of that Digimon's color. Then, return one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to the hand. Ooh, got black and blue effects on here. That's pretty neat. How many games we get? Two? Oh, definitely pick up a second copy to max out your set. This is cool. What else we got? Oh, we got Fireball. Cool. The option card. Looks great. Kaizen there. Oh, look at this. Looks sick. Where Gurumon looks amazing in this art. Got Kaizen now. Ooh, the new Blinding Ray. Definitely going to my Kentaros Mandek. 
Nice. What else we got? Pride Memory Boost. Oh, this is cool. Amazing art. Look at that. And we also get Mist Memory Boosts. So now we're going to get alternate art cards for the other Mem Boosts. Cool. This is fantastic. Look, Hitmon and Beelzebub. Woo. Man, super cool. These are 10 bonus cards. These are amazing. The artwork, amazing, as you can see. So now let's look through the main deck. And let's go ahead and see if I can go ahead and do the same thing here. Nice. I did not struggle too hard. Usually I do. Okay. So, start off with the DGX. We got Gummy Mon. And it's foil. This whole deck's gonna be full, huh? Just like the Beelzemon deck. It's inheritable as when attacking once per turn. If you have a green tamer, draw a card. So you need tamers. Of course, you get four of these little digi eggs. Put our digi eggs here to the side. And here we go. Main deck, Terriermon. Main, once per turn. You may play one green tamer card or one level three Digimon card with Lotmon in its name from your hand with the play cost reduced by two. Well, all right. Very cool. It's inheritable is all turns. While this Digimon is suspended, it gets 1,000 TP. So, okay, cool. I wonder if Alliance is going to play a factor into this or just suspending. How many of these we get? We get two. Yeah, pick up a second copy. <laughs> this is cool. Foil, nice. So we got Terriermon. Lotmon. Look at that. Oh, look, side by side, as you can see them. Terriermon is actually looking up a Lotmon. I like when they do artwork like this. Main, once per turn. One of your Digimon games, Alliance for the turn. So Alliance plays a factor in the deck. Into Heribles, the same as Terramon. When suspended, it gets 1,000 DP all turns. You get two Lotmons. Here we got Windigomon. On playing with Digivolving, delete one level 3 or lower Digimon. If this effect deleted one of your Digimon, you may play one level 3 Digimon card with Terramon or Lotmon in its name from your trash without paying the cost. Nice. And actually, same ability. All turns while this Digimon is suspended, it gains 1,000 DP. Okay, how many of these we get? Four, okay. So it's like Terramon and Lotmon are the special cards so far, meaning two copies. Gargomon. Your turn once per turn. When this Digimon becomes suspended, one of your Digimon gains jamming for the turn. Yo, alliance and jamming? Interesting. This is going to be cool. I want to try this deck out. This, this looks like fun. Same inheritable. All turns while this Digimon is suspended, it gets 1,000k DP. We get four Gargomons, okay? Here's Rapidmon. Blocker and Armor Purge. All turns once per turn. When this Digimon becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of their security Digimon get minus 4k DP until the end of their turn. Nice. Inheritable is the same. So, so far, all the inheritables are the same. Oh, we get two Rapidmons. Here's the other Rapidmon, the non-golden form. On play when Digivolving, D-Digivolve, one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if you have a green tamer until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent's effects can't delete this Digimon or return it to the hand or deck. Protection. This inheritable is different, though. All turns once per turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, trash the top card of their security stack. Wow. Interesting. Very cool. It's like fun. And here's our Mega Gargomon Ace. It's very sick artwork, actually. Very cool. So, of course, Blastage Evolution. This Digimon has Block and Reboot. When Digivolving, suspend two of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Then, two of their Digimon or Tamers can't unsuspend or Digivolve until the end of their turn. Ooh, what a lockdown. When Digivolving or end of attack. Once per turn, you may unsuspend this Digimon. Ooh, cool. And then, of course, this one has minus four overflow. So once it leaves the field, you lose four memory. How many of these we get? Two, okay. All right, we still have a lot more. Let's keep going. We have Trubimon, another level six. Has Alliance. When Digivolving, you may delete one level four or lower Digimon. Then you may play one level four or lower green or purple Digimon card from your hand or trash without paying the cost. All right, that's with Digivolving. We get four of these. 
Oh, I guess these are our Digimon. Now we go into Tamers. I mean, not gonna lie, the deck is still pretty thick here. Maybe there's more Digimon back there. We got Henry Wong. So we got a new Henry. Start your main phase. If your opponent has a Digimon, gain a memory. Main, by placing this Tamer and one Gargomon and one Rapidmon from your trash in any order as one of your Terriamon's bottom Digivolution cards, that Digimon made Digivolve into Mega Gargomon in the hand for a Digivolution cost of 4, ignoring its Digivolution requirements. In this effect Digivolved, that Digimon gains Rush for the turn. Ooh, that's nice. You get a, a, a Bio-Merge effect, uh, a Warp Digivolution. That's cool. How many of these we get? Four Henrys. Okay, got the Tamers. Double Typhoon. Hey, just like the box. New option card. Main, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Green Digimon card and one such Tamer card among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the battle area. So its delay effect is, you may play one Terramon or Lotmon from your hand without paying the cost. Okay. That's cool. How many we get? Two. Got Giant Missile. Main, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then return one of their suspended Digimon to the bottom of the deck. One of the Digimon can't unsuspend to the end of their turn. Ooh. This is pretty strong. ACOS. Yeah, I can see why. Well, that's that. Oh, okay. So, I see what happened or what they did. So we're going to place the Tamer here. Actually, put the Tamer here. Showcase Tamer, the new Henry. And put our option cards up here. All right, so, and we'll go through these also. So this is Terry Bond from EX4. Unplay, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one two-color green card and one Tamer card with Henry Wong and his name among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. It's heritable. Your turn. When a lion's, suspend one of your Digimon. This Digimon may Digivolve into a two-color green Digimon card in your hand with the Digivolution cost reduced by two. And we get 40s. Nice. Terramon Assistant, your turn. When an effect suspends this Digimon, one of your Digimon gets plus 4,000 DP for the turn. This works with, for the Alliance. So it's pretty cool. There's a rule, name also treated as Terramon. And then your turn, when Alliance suspends one of your Digimon, this Digimon may digivolve into a two-color green Digimon card in your hand with the Digivolution cost reduced by two. So same inheritable, and we get four of these. Ooh, we got Telamon. It's like we're getting the full versions of all the EX4 cards. That's pretty cool. So you can max ready your decks for the Terramon Lotmon deck. This has Alliance. End of attack, you may play one green level 3 Digimon card from your trash without paying the cost. Inheritable is different. End of attack once per turn. If you have another suspended Digimon, you turn one green Digimon card from your trash to the hand. Oh, way to recycle. Alright, that's it for these Digimon. So I'm actually going to put Digimon and Digimon together. And we here we got Willis. BT8. On play, you may hatch in your breeding area. Your turn. When one of your Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon card with Gargomon or Rapidmon in its name, by suspending this Tamer, reduce the Digivolution cost by one. Nice cost reduction there. We get two of these. We get Henry Wong from EX2. Start of your turn. If you have two or less memory, set it to three. So memory setter. Your turn. When one of your Digimon with Gargomon or Rapidmon in their names attacks, by suspending this Tamer, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Nice. And we get two of these. So definitely, I'd recommend getting a second copy to, again, complete your set of these new new versions of the cards. These are pretty cool. And of course, at the end, we get our memory gauge. Boom. Put those together. And of course, uh, these are memory markers, actually. You can pop these out. Looks like so you can, so you can mark where you're at with the memory gauge. And... These are our tips and tools, um, how to play the game. So there's that. Neat. That is the deck itself. Now let's go on to the secret pack here. What is this secret pack all about? Here we go. Actually, let's see if we can open it this way. I'd rather do it like this. Yeah, there you go. I like this. I don't want to rip it down and like bend the corner of the card. Excellent. I don't know what this is or what it will be, so let's flip it now. Ooh, Cherubimon. Oh, so it, it's going to be a random card in the deck with the new art. 
style. That's cool. Look at that. That was really cool. This one is the Alliance when Digivolving. You may delete one level 4 or lower Digimon. Then, you may play one level 4 or lower green or purple Digimon card from your hand or trash without paying the cost. This is the one from Star Deck 17. So this is a new one. Very cool, actually. Nice. We'll put this... In. There we go. But alright, that's... That is Starter Deck 17, Double Typhoon. TCG players, what do y'all think about Double Typhoon? I myself am not a green player, but back in EX4, I liked the whole Alliance gimmick with these two, and I like that they went ahead and built more around it. This definitely looks like a fun green deck to play. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And that'll wrap up the unboxing and showcasing of Digimon Starter Deck 17, Advanced Deck Set, Double Typhoon. Hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, support the channel, join the crew for more TCG content and openings, and until next time, smooth sailing.